Welcome back to another video. In this really long vlog, I just took you guys with me during the final weeks leading up to finals. And I shared like some study tips and what I do to study for my finals. All of my finals are cumulative, so that means that it's on all of the information I learned this whole semester. And my semesters are 16 weeks long, so I have to do a ton of studying to remember everything that I learned 16 weeks ago all the way up to like last week. But thank you so much for clicking on my video. I hope you enjoy this vlog. Also, if you have any questions for me about studying or dental hygiene school, I always have my Instagram in my description box. So just message me there and I will respond to every question. It is 10 p.m. I just started studying set up like my plans for studying for finals. Um, I'm stressed. I said this last semester but I don't even know how this is mentally possible. <laughs> I'm studying for multiple classes every single day. I didn't even add in like other things I have going on. Like I only put in school so uh, life is crazy right now. But this is gonna be my second to last finals of my whole life so that is really exciting. It's actually kind of my last like finals ever. Next semester I just have like board review and simpler classes I think. They haven't told us much about next semester but from my understanding that's what it is. So I'm just listening to my lectures right now, re-listening to them and taking notes and it's gonna be a really late night tonight. Okay, I'm taking a quick break from studying to update you guys. So currently I'm in like the second to last week of the semester. So I have my last exams um, in my classes before the final exams. I get the same amount of like anxiety for these exams that I do for my final exams because I like to do super well on these because I always go into my finals, or at least I always try to go into my finals with like being able to fail the final and still pass the class and I've always done that I've never had to like try to pass a final in order to pass the class if that makes sense so I actually had an exam yesterday and it was my best score of the whole semester and so now all I have left is the final and I can get like 30% on the final and still pass the class so that's my goal for all of them. But tomorrow I have an exam in my hardest class, which is dental materials. 
and that's not even the hardest information that I've learned. It's just the tests are so hard and you really have to think about what it's asking and um, how to answer the questions. So I'm studying for that right now. I have a 21 page study guide that I made myself um, starting yesterday I'm the test is tomorrow. So I haven't even finished the study guide, but as I'm making it, I'm studying. Like I'll probably only need to look over these 21 pages one time or maybe two um, and then take the test. Cause I like create questions for myself, like te possible test questions and then answer them and but yeah as I make the study guide I'm studying and I really like it because I'm staying active like I'm not just reading a textbook so I don't get as bored and I don't need to take as many breaks and I have four clinics left this semester um I think every single one of those patients is scaling and replaning but it's just like the initial assessment so I'm not even I don't even think I'm cleaning teeth for the next four appointments I'm just doing like initial findings and radiographs. So I won't be cleaning teeth for a few weeks, I guess, till we come back from break for our summer semester. And on Monday this week, I finished my very last skill assessment for clinic in order to be able to move on to next semester. And it was a rest in. So placing the antibiotic and I'm really happy that my patient had a six millimeter pocket and bleeding because that's exactly what I needed to place the arrestant. So that feels really good to get it over with. But yeah, super nervous for tomorrow. I really want to get an A on this exam so that I have a lot more room on the final to get things wrong because this final is going to be so hard next Thursday. Normally our tests are like between 35 and 50 questions. And I think the final is over 100 questions, so... I'm really nervous and it's cumulative everything we learned the past 16 weeks in this semester. But I'm gonna stop talking and get back to studying and wish me luck on this exam tomorrow. I've officially finished every exam in my classes other than my finals i have um four finals this semester and i got my grades up high enough in all of my classes that i can fail every final and pass the class i think on like two finals i need 20 or 30 percent on the final to pass and then in dental materials class i need 50 percent i'm super happy and relieved that I got my grades up high enough to do that and I don't really need to worry about the exams. So I'll obviously study a lot for them anyway, but this entire week I've gotten three and a half, between three and a half and four and a half hours of sleep every night um, just so I can study. I haven't done anything but study. I study all night until I fall asleep and the first thing I do in the morning is study until I have class. First thing I do when I get home from class is study some more so yeah i am exhausted but it's been so worth it um i'm so happy i can confidently say now that i am gonna make it into my last semester of college ever i cannot wait to be done for the rest of my life i am so tired of school i'm so over it it doesn't feel real yet that i'm getting this close to the end and although graduation is so exciting, that just means I'm gonna have to take my board's exam soon, which is the scariest thing of my whole life. So yeah, I'm excited and scared for next semester. So it's Thursday, it's 12.30. I have to go back to class at two o'clock. Um, I just have lab. Then tonight I'm gonna be super busy because I do have an online class and I want to like finish everything for it. I think there's like three assignments two discussion posts, something like that. Maybe a little bit more, but I would like to just like finish that class and get it over with. So I think I'm gonna work on that tonight. And this weekend I am so, so busy. I don't have any time to do schoolwork at all. So starting Sunday night or Monday night, I'm gonna start studying for my dental materials final 
which is next Thursday and that's my first final of this semester so I think that three days of studying will be good enough for that class but yeah nothing else I can really do I'm so busy this weekend with things that I like can't miss so happy Friday I'm about to leave for clinic right now and my camera died so I couldn't even show doing my makeup but I just got this new Milani Conceal and Perfect foundation and concealer. You probably can't even tell on camera, but up close it makes my skin look so good. This is what it looks like. I just got it um, from Target Pickup the other day and when I saw it I got nervous because the packaging is different than I've ever seen. This is never what it looks like and also it looks like it's been dropped on the floor a few times and I was nervous to use it, but it's amazing. And it just like blurs out everything. So I think that's my new favorite foundation. I wanna get another color in it though, because I self tan every week and like every day I'm a different <laughs> shade because it like wears off fast. Yeah, I wanna get a lighter color that I can just like mix with it and make my own color every day because I love this foundation. So tonight I'm done with clinic at five o'clock and then I'm gonna go straight to getting my nails done with my sister and my mom and then we're going out to dinner afterwards. We always go to Florida together every year um, but I have a week off in between semesters and it did not line up with when they're going to Florida so I have to miss out on that um, but I'm just going to get pedicures with them anyway. We can act like I'm going on vacation because I really wish I was. And then I'll probably get home around like 11 p.m. And I really wanna write my four page paper. Let's do on Sunday because I already did the other assignment. Let's do Sunday. I'm really busy the rest of the weekend because tomorrow's my best friend's birthday and Sunday is Easter. So I wanna get these assignments done. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to stay up and write the paper tonight, but we'll see how far I get. Hope everyone is having a good Friday. It's literally the middle of April. It is 5.30 right now. I finished clinic and I ended up doing some scaling rope planning on my patient today. Um, I was gonna start him next semester, but figured I might as well start today. I've done three SRPs and he's my fourth and he's definitely the hardest. He has radiographic calc on every single tooth. So he's gonna be really hard but um he also is like makes my job the easiest out of every srp patient i've had um like i was giving him local and he just sat there and let me give him three injections my other srp patients would like yell and hit me and they really didn't like it so he's very tough and he took it just fine so even though he's the hardest, like when it comes to calc, um, he made my job a lot easier today. Um, I'm getting pedicures with my mom and sister. I look crazy, I need to do something with my hair. We're going out to eat after. I just stopped at um, Kohl's to do an Amazon return. We got these really cute cookies from one of our instructors today. And there was like a lab coat and this one is just a tooth, obviously and it's so cute, but it's the end of the semester and it was our last Friday of clinic. So she got these for us and yeah, I think it is so freaking cute. But yeah, I'm gonna do something about my hair. I look crazy. I'm gonna go do this Amazon return and go to my pedicure and then go out to eat. And I've vlogged at this place we're eating like three times. I go there all the time. It's my favorite, so. I'm really excited.
everyone happy Easter I know this video won't go up for a few weeks because I need to get my finals over with before I even think about editing a video even though that's all I want to do is edit this video and get it up my first final is Thursday and I haven't started studying for it yet I've done so good on these last three exams that I don't even think I'm gonna study them before the final I'm just gonna really focus on the first half of the exam so like the first four um because i didn't do as good on those so that's information that i really need to study before thursday i just got home from my grandma's i'm about to start studying but i want to show you guys what i came home to so dylan has work today so he wasn't able to come with to easter Um, but our eight year anniversary is tomorrow as well. So he just got me a little gift and I love it. it. Made me so happy to come home to. So yeah, this is for one of my classes. This is only half the semester of information. And then this is for my exam Thursday, dental materials. This is also only half of the semester's worth of notes and information so i don't even really need to study this because this is the last couple exams that stuff is like fresher in my mind so i think i'll be fine with this stuff on the final of course i was going to show you guys these notes and this is literally what's on top but um <laughs> yeah it's just a lot of information clearly so a little bit overwhelmed but i will make it work I always do also I'm like barely even nervous for finals because I already explained this earlier in the vlog but I got I worked so hard and I finally got my grades to exactly where I want to be going into finals so it's Sunday I'm gonna study the rest of the night and then I only have two clinics left this semester and they're super easy they're just perio maintenances so like they're not a new patient all the notes are in and I just need to update them. And I always get these patients done super fast. So yeah, I am not feeling as stressed as I have in the past couple of months. So it feels really good. So I just went through and wrote down the chapters that were on every unit this semester in dental materials or every exam. So we've taken seven exams. And then these were the chapters that were in each one. And I'm gonna go through and write the grade I got for every exam 
and then I'll just really focus on the exams that I got the lowest grades on. Also, I started watching Bridgerton and it's so good. Normally I have to be like in silence or like super quiet music when I'm studying, but I can't stop watching the show. So we'll see how much I can get done um, with that on in the background. But yeah, I was just really overwhelmed because I think this is like, it's like almost 40 chapters that we've been tested on this semester. So I figured this would organize it a little bit and that way I can figure out what I need to focus on. It is Wednesday, my first final of the semester is tomorrow in dental materials. Um, it's 1.30 now, I've been studying for dental materials all day. I think I feel ready for the final, um, but it was like 40 chapters of information, so I like didn't have time to go over every single chapter. So I hope when I'm like taking the final, um, the answers like come back to me as I'm taking it because yeah, it kind of freaks me out that I didn't have time to go over everything. I think I need 52% on the exam tomorrow to pass and it's 122 questions, which is so much for me. I have such a hard time taking like 50 question exams. Like it's so hard for me to sit still. So 122 questions is a ton. I just got done with an advisor meeting. Uh, we were just going over like studying for the boards. The second week in May, we take like a mock board exam and if we do good enough on it, we're cleared to sign up for boards, um, which is crazy because that's only in a couple weeks. So yeah, not very many students pass the first like mock exam. Um, and then I think we do it next in June and that's when you really wanna pass so you can get cleared to take boards in July. I don't want to be like one of the students that can't pass. So yeah, I need to start studying for boards. Um, we just came up with like a study plan. We're supposed to do 10 hours a week just studying for boards um, on top of our other classes. So she just had me write down like the dates and the times of the week that I'll be studying. And then like my resources and subjects I feel confident in and subjects I feel concerned with. So. Honestly, all of them. <laughs> yeah, I haven't even studied for boards really, to be honest, at all. So I need to start doing that. I've had the online Andy RDH courses. Like I bought it almost a year ago, I think, um, when they were like doing a sale. And then I just messaged him last week and asked to like upgrade my package so that I could also get the physical book because I learned so much better with like a physical copy of my textbooks rather than online. So I'm excited. I'm gonna get that in the next few days. And then when I'm on break for a week and a half in between semesters, I can really start studying the Andy RDH book. But tonight's really exciting. It's the last clinic of the semester. And I love my patient who's coming in tonight. I saw him um, three months ago. He's on a three month recall because he's a uh, perio maintenance. And yeah, he's really easy because I think he only has like 10 teeth. So the appointment goes super quick. And I can tell he takes care of his teeth since he got his scaling root planning done. Like I think they did it a year ago. And he's like super healthy now. And yeah, makes a really easy appointment for me. So it's gonna be a really good last day of clinic. Oh my God, I just realized I never confirmed his appointment and he made this appointment three months ago so oh my gosh i feel so bad he's probably not going to remember and i'm going to have an open clinic on the last day that happened last semester too but yikes i will update you guys because uh, i feel so bad i might go to school early just so i can call him and remind him i don't have open clinic for him to come in um for like two months so i really want to get him in tonight shoot well i'll update you guys if he ends up coming to his appointment i'm home from clinic now it's 10 o'clock and whoa we got out so early i think we gotta go like 40 minutes early because it's the last day and we got everything done really fast because we were so ready to get out of there um but i just wanted to update you guys and my patient did end up showing up and i'm so happy he did 
Also, I wanted to show you guys what I got to help me study for boards. So I've had Andy RDH on like the online version since like a year ago. I really thought I was gonna study for boards this whole past year, um, but I really haven't used it at all. If you're like earlier in the dental hygiene program, you might not know about like resources to study for boards, but basically people either get student RDH or Andy RDH. And I've studied out of student RDH quite a bit at school and the answers are wrong all the time. And not saying if you study from this, you'll like automatically pass boards, but I'm in a couple Facebook groups for dental hygienists and like dental hygiene students. And this just seems like a lot more reliable than student RDH. So I upgraded like the package because I used to just have the online version and I got the book as well. This is spelled wrong. That they were supposed to say health, but they spelled health wrong. But yeah, this is so nice to study from. It explains everything, and then at the end of every chapter, there's like a quiz on information. It has like rationale for the answer, but I think this is really gonna help me study for boards. So I'm excited that I have this now. But yeah, first final of the semester tomorrow. It's kind of scary, even though I'll pass the class no matter what, because I can definitely get 50% on a final. Um, it's just always nerve wracking that like, what if um, I don't know anything and I fail like super bad and then I fail the whole class. I don't know, that's always in the back of my head, no matter how much I study. But I'm gonna make dinner and go to bed and then I'm gonna wake up um really early i think like 6 a.m probably yeah i'll wake up at 6 and study and then my final is at 10 a.m so yeah i'll obviously vlog afterwards and like let you guys know how it went um tomorrow we're also getting our whitening kits and that's the best part about dental hygiene school so far we get like professional whitening kits to take home so i'll definitely be doing that All right, I finished my first final. It's 11.30. I've been awake since 6 a.m. and Dylan brought me McDonald's breakfast and a coffee. And I did really good on that final. It was really hard. I did not like the questions at all, um, but it, I actually did so good that I brought my grade up in the class a few percentages. So did not think that it was gonna go that well but i'm really happy it wasn't my hardest final i know my hardest one will be on tuesday but i needed to do the best on this one because it was my like lowest grade out of all my classes so i'm super happy it went good um i have to go back to class at like 2 15 and then i don't have class again until tuesday which is awesome it gives me so much more time to study for the three finals that i have left and I have no plans this entire weekend, Friday through Monday. I'm just going to study for my last finals. So I'm really not that stressed um, for the rest of my finals. And yeah, I'm really thankful that I put in the work the entire semester so that I'm not freaking out about these finals. Because I know a lot of people <laughs> wait to give it their best until like this last chance to do good on the test. And I cannot do that. That would freak me out and cause me so much anxiety but i really want to take a nap right now before i have to go back to class even though i just finished that large coffee but i have so much to get done that i think i'm gonna try and stay awake and yeah so much i could do i need to clean my house and kind of want to edit this video i also have like three things i need to return and yeah there's so much i could get done so I'm gonna try not to sleep, but I only got like three or four hours of sleep, so I'm exhausted. I'm home from lab and we got like our whitening kit, so I'm probably gonna do that tonight maybe. It just kind of makes me nervous because it's like really strong 
whitening it's six percent hydrogen peroxide and i have sensitive teeth so i just have to like be really careful about it but i did my own like dip polish dip powder nails for i think like a year and a half almost two years and then we started clinic so i haven't been able to have anything on my nails for like a long period of time other than winter break um since like last a year ago at this time because that's when i started pre-clinic but now i can have it i can have like anything on my nails till i go back to clinic in like two weeks so i was gonna do my own dip powder nails i just picked out my color i got all ready to do it and all the liquids i didn't even think about it but they're they're all like dried up so i can't even do my own dip nails but i do have like glue-ons from etsy that i guess i'm gonna do I want to go get my nails done, but I don't really want to spend money on it when I have like 10 pair of like different glue on ones that are super cute. So I'm just going to do that right now and then edit this video. If I feel like it, I'm going to do schoolwork tonight, but I'm not going to force myself because I honestly have four full days to do it. So, and I also don't need to study a ton for these finals because I'm gonna pass no matter what. Yeah, just kind of relaxing at night tonight. I'm so happy for that because I need All right, this vlog is getting so long, so I'm not finished with my finals, but I'm gonna end the vlog right here and start a new one. If you made it this far, thank you so much. I appreciate you clicking on my video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next one.